Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where we will try to get ourselves established a little bit better today and try to get out and find some new things to craft. So, overnight I built a campfire, got that going, and if you'll notice, over here I actually put out the coconut bowls and the tortoise shell for some clean water. So, Day, we need to try to cook some meat because we're gonna get hungry at some point as you can tell and by the way our coordinates are 51 West 19 South that is where this lovely fishing camp is located so let's get started for the day Let's see what we have already. We have a fish we can harvest, piranha that we caught in our trap that we put the mushroom in yesterday. So let's go ahead and do that. We won't need the fish bones anytime soon, so we'll just destroy those. We have a couple pieces of meat. We have plenty of fruit for carbohydrates. We have some fats. So I guess it's just a matter of getting all of that going on the campfire. So let's get us some water and a bowl to cook in. Let's get our coconut biden filled with water. And let's bring our bowls back and let's do a little bit of cooking. You can, um, place things directly on the fire like the meat and stuff but I think I'll do some soup with some of these other things like the heart of palm let's just go ahead and place that in there For those of you that may not know, if you place these bowls out, when it rains, they fill with clean water, so there's no need to filter it or boil it or anything like that. You can just drink it directly from the shell or the coconut bowl. <gasps> Sorry about that. I am by no means professional at this, so there will be some hiccups along the way, and I apologize for those in advance. So let's just let that cook for a few minutes. Let's try to get a, enough material to build at least another spear, maybe even a bow. And I'll probably leave this. It seemed to drain stamina more yesterday, so I'll probably just leave it lying around somewhere. Um, where I can see it in case I actually need it, need it or want to use it again. But for the most part, I think I'll just do the, um, the axe, the stone axe, the stone blade, and I'll probably use this spear for now just because the durability is at 100%. So we can use um, the long stick we chopped down yesterday we can craft that into a weak spear and that gave us the new entry of weak spear since we've learned to craft that um, we'll pick up some sticks we'll pick up some things along the way I'm trying not to get too far away from the campfire because I will probably forget the meat that's cooking I want to take these back to the camp there should be another one around here somewhere. I really don't see it. But this one should be enough to do the um, wooden bow. I don't have any arrows yet either, so probably not a necessity to craft that. Maybe I'll just leave it there for now. That almost looks like a map of some sort. Probably just go ahead and put the um, the machete back up here for now. I'm not sure if it'll stay there or if the durability will degrade after a while and then it'll just finally disappear. 
But let's check to see if there's any more fish over here because we will desperately need that at some point. Let's see if we have any more of those mushrooms that we can put in there. I don't know what happened there. I guess that was some kind of glitch in the game. Still says there's a mushroom in there already. Looks like there's kind of two in there. So we'll let that go for a little while. If we don't catch anything, we'll try to see if there's just a glitch with that. These frogs you do not want anything to do with. They are poisonous. I think they're part of the story mode or something like that. Um, I'm not sure how that works or how that worked into the game. But I think that might be part of the story mode. Oh, I forgot about that meat. Let's run back and check on that. Hopefully it isn't burned. I'm horrible for forgetting that kind of stuff. Um, the things that we've made into soup, like the heart of palm, that won't hurt. Like it won't go bad. But you can burn the meat. And it just cooked. That is wonderful. We did not ruin that. We'll put the piranha on there. But who knows how long that will last before it's burned. Um, I know I'm getting low on protein and fat. So I'm just going to eat that. It gives you 48 protein, which is wonderful. 15 energy isn't bad either. These unknown nuts, when you eat them, they give you 15 fat. So we are doing pretty good. We're doing really good on protein. And let's eat a few more of these nuts. Maybe even one more. Don't want to waste anything in the beginning, later in the game, when you have more resources or there's more places to find these types of things. Then it won't be nearly as important to watch what you eat as much. These bananas are really good for carbs. You get 25 carbohydrates versus 5, I think, with these mushrooms. So, yeah, bananas are really important during this game just to kind of keep everything going. So that piranha meat is cooked. We'll see if there's any water over here. Let's see. That holds 25 hydration. I didn't mean to pick that up. Definitely put that back out in case it rains while we are across here looking for maybe another um, turtle shell. This is actually the best place here that I found across because you don't have to swim at all. And I don't think the piranhas can get you there. I'm not totally sure about that. Okay, this will not be good. We are definitely... Oh dear, and I do see him right there. We are not at all prepared for this fight. However, I guess we are fighting this guy. I don't have any arrows, so we're gonna poke him. Hopefully. Yay! We did it! Our very first native! Wonderful! Whew. That was a little bit unexpected today, especially just on day two. The stick blade is only at 20%, so we're definitely not gonna keep that over. sure if that's thunder. Well, I guess it is raining, so it probably is. But let's harvest him. We won't keep the meat, but the bones are good for protein if you put them in a stew. So we'll definitely try that. Oh, and you get feathers from him also, which lets you make um, arrows. And I'm going to harvest this turtle just because we need it for the water. Or I need a shell. We can always eat the meat as well. Okay, so let's head back, and that was a little bit of an interesting run-in, to say the least. Definitely wasn't expecting that. So let's cross here. Um, before we eat anything, we have to make sure and wash. The little icon in the lower left represents how dirty you are. 
And after harvesting, especially after harvesting anything, you get that. The rain helps wash yourself, but it's quicker to just do it yourself in the water or near the water. The rain is wonderful if you're in a location that there isn't water nearby. If you eat while dirty, it gives you parasites, so that's definitely not something you want to do. And one more time should be wonderful. All right, so let's try to. Um, I need to put some wood in the fire. Coconut brew, yeah, that's the um, heart of palm that we made earlier. Let's destroy this. I'm not sure I want to eat any human meat. Mm. We're still looking good. Um, as far as resources or nutrients go. Let's go see if we can find anything for bandages. We don't have anything at all. If we get cut or scratched or stabbed. Um, we'll just pick up whatever we see, in the, like I said in the beginning, you can use any of this type of thing. This is Lily. It's wonderful um, for dressing. But you need the, the other plant to make the actual bandage. And I do not see that. It was... The plant that was in the beginning when we first started the game was a plant near that area. So I may have to try to backtrack and find that. I can't find any around here. I'm not sure what that noise is, but it kind of sounds like a cat of some sort. So I guess it may be this armadillo. Yeah, it must have been that. We do need some rope as well. Just gather up what you can find. I did not find that. We'll just hang on to the lily for now. We'll eventually run across it. Whew, that gave me a heart attack. After seeing our first native already, I'm a little bit paranoid that every noise I hear is now a native. <laughs> it's probably not a good thing to be when you're trying to play this type of game. The sounds in this game can be a little bit overwhelming at times, but I think it's really great. It adds great depth to this game. Okay. There's a mystery snail. Could probably eat that at some point if we got pretty desperate for food. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything in this water at all that could be dangerous. Okay, that looks like some type of animal we could use for food. Maybe a little bit harder to kill than I first thought. Ooh, some more bananas. We definitely need those. Um, we have to be careful as well about weight. You can only carry so many pounds of things. So let's harvest this stone. We'll need it, of course. Ooh, this is the, the plant I'm looking for to make bandages. Let's just go ahead and get that started. Get those crafting as soon as we get this chopped down. 
Um, so in order to craft, you just um, right click and do craft. And if you notice, it tells you up here what this one thing will craft. So this leaf will craft a leaf bandage. And we'll go ahead and get those going. And in order to make that lily dressing, you just do craft on the bandage and drag that over to the crafting area and you have a lily dressing. And again, these are really good. I like trying to stack those down here in the corner so I know where they are when I need them in an emergency. We'll craft a couple more bandages just to have those. And for whatever reason, and I was nowhere near crafting a stone spear, it unlocked that. So we'll just move these down here and if you want to do like a stack of something, if you want to move an entire stack, you just hold the left alt key and click and drag on that. I wonder if we can get that crab. No, we did not. Probably going to need the stamina for the long walk home. You have to be very mindful of stamina in this game. Because you never know when you're going to run upon something wanting to kill you. Like a native. I'm sure we will die several times throughout this. Um, like I said earlier, I am by no means a professional. Um, there's a couple of fish, or at least one fish. So let's put a new mushroom in there and see if we have the same issue. No, maybe we were just trying to put that in there and there was already a mushroom in there or something. I'm not totally sure what went on with that. Probably need to put some things in the fire because we don't want it to go out. So alt. We'll drag the small sticks in. It takes a lot to build us back up. Okay. So we need to do um, a little bit of crafting again. We need to make the bow because we do have a couple of arrows after we've got some feathers from the native from harvesting him. There's that long stick I was missing earlier. I'll drop it down here. I'll drop it beside that one. I'll try to get a few more small sticks because to craft the arrows, it's two feathers and one small stick. So we'll try to find a couple more sticks just lying around. And, of course, we'll definitely need those, like I said, for the fire at some point. I wonder if that was there all this time and I just overlooked it earlier. I definitely feel silly now. Well, that was a little bit odd. I wonder if that was just a glitch in the game. I think that happened earlier with the mystery snail also. Okay, so let's get back over here and make those arrows. We will did we leave something cooking earlier? We did. And it burned. So we can't eat that. I'm not sure if you can eat it or not. But I don't really want to. So I'm just going to go ahead and destroy it. We do have some more fish. We probably need to go ahead and harvest that and get that cooking while we are near the fire. So we can sort of try to keep an eye on it. Let's just clean up some of our inventory here. Let's get rid of some things that we're not going to use. This nut is extremely full of fats. So, and it doesn't have a timer on it, which means it doesn't go bad. Like some of these, like even here, this one's already spoiling, which means this one only has five hours left. And these two are bad already. This meat will also have a timer on it. 
You can see it has 19 hours until it goes bad. This one is cooked, so it actually has a little bit longer than if it wasn't cooked, I think. Um, these mushrooms also, like everything has a timer on it, or nearly everything. So let's just try to get some of this stuff cleaned up that's bad already. Um, we don't want to eat that by accident. I wonder if you can eat, you can just eat these raw. Disgusting. Ugh. Well, it didn't make us sick. Well, that was a positive, and it was for protein instantly. So let's put this piranha meat on the fire and get that going. Let's craft these arrows. Let's see. Um, small stick, craft. We have four feathers, so we can start it with two arrows. I guess that's better than none. And let's just do craft on these. We will bring this small stick over. And these only craft one. And you can't craft a stack of these, which would be extremely helpful if you could. But unless something has changed, you can't just craft a stack of those. It's just, you have to craft each one individual. Let's get some more bandages. You can never have too many. Or bones. Like I said, those make really good soup. They give you protein. The piranha meat is cooked. Let's see how we're doing. We're still doing really good. I'm going to leave that. Let's see what time it is. I wonder if we have time to go up to that. There's a native camp up in this bamboo area. So welcome back guys, it is the next morning and we have gotten up and we've got ourselves going, we've had our food, we are looking pretty good. We do however have a leech, so let's see if we can see where that is. Let's get rid of that. Let's check our legs, it's probably down there considering all of the stuff we've been going through. We had two, three leeches. So we are good and ready to go. They will drain your sanity and that is definitely not a good thing. So let's drink a, a little bit of water. Let's make sure we didn't leave anything cooking again. I was doing a little bit of cooking earlier before it got bright enough to see. So let's go up this hill. I'm not really certain exactly where it is. I know it's somewhere up through here. I guess this is it. This is the, yeah, you get the bamboo smoker here as well. There's a torch that you can pick up and learn. It's not something I use in the game. It doesn't last very long. Um, I'll just leave it here. They'll need that when they come back. There's some spoiled bananas, some spoiled meat, an empty coconut bowl. We'll take that just so we can have extra water. There's some bamboo lying around. Um, see if we can get this coconut as well. It's always good for water and for carbs. Here's several more. I may take an extra one just because, but I think I'll leave two of those at least lying there. Ooh, and here's a bow. I didn't have to craft one after all. I forgot about that actually being there. So... I guess we will head back to our little makeshift base. And you can see in the upper right corner there's still a couple of things that is being unlocked. 
Those are all things that we will use later when we actually get to the point that we can craft our own or build our own base. We can craft those traps to kind of keep it safe. I'm just collecting a few fruit. There's a bird feather that's going to be useful eventually. Just collecting a few things as we come down this mountain back to our base. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment. Um, subscribe if you want, don't want to miss out on future videos. And I thank you for joining. Have a great day.